Hey YouTube, it's Jacob back with you with another video. So today we're outside and and I hope the sun is not too bright so that uh, so that y'all can see everything good. But uh, today we're going to talk about wheelchair ramps. Uh, I, I try I'm going to try on this channel to to cover a lot of different areas uh, as far as being a paraplegic, being in a wheelchair, and uh, we've we've done some videos on transfers and. Uh, and other stuff like that but today i just want to talk with you a little bit about wheelchair ramps uh for the past 23 years uh i've gone through several different ramps and and i've used a lot of different ramps and i just recently had this one built on my house and uh, i just want to go over with y'all some uh some tips and stuff that i that i incorporated into this ramp that uh that's that's really helped me out and uh I thought I would share it with y'all, and we would just talk about maybe the basics of wheelchair ramps for uh, for some of y'all out there who are who are newly uh, injured or newly to a wheelchair and and don't know a lot about wheelchair ramps. We're just going to cover some basic stuff on this, and uh, and stick around at the end of the video. I'm going to do uh, some different shots of of uh, up on the ramp and uh, and things like that, so y'all can get a kind of an idea of how it looks. Uh, from different from different views and stuff like that so before we jump into it guys if you haven't subscribed click that subscribe button it's totally free and uh, it will notify y'all every time that we put a new video up and uh, so y'all can get a chance to watch it and we got a lot of upcoming stuff that's coming up that'll hopefully benefit y'all and uh, and help you out so uh, let's get right into it so this wheelchair ramp uh, i've done a little different than i've done most of my ramps uh, this wheelchair ramp here is totally, totally backwards, kind of. I put the I put the ramp against the house and put the porch out in front of it. And the reason that I done that, guys, is my last ramp was on the was on the outside and the porch was on the inside. And I noticed with the rain and the snow and things like that, uh, I still got a lot of snow and a lot of ice on my ramp. So, you know, I was having to have somebody come outside and help me clean the, clean the ramp off and, and things like that. And uh, I've had this, this ramp now for a couple months, and uh, we've, we've went through the winter, and we had some snows. And I noticed that this, work, this ramp worked great, guys. It, it kept the snow and stuff off of the ramp and uh, kept it good and clear to go up and down it. Uh, and the reason being is because I did tuck that ramp in up against the house. So, uh, so that helped a lot, and uh, that makes a big difference, especially if you live alone or you live uh, and you don't have uh, people to help you uh, clear the ramp, or you know, that that just takes that much more uh, out of it and a little easier on you. So, uh, so that's the reason that I done the ramp the way that I did. Uh, this ramp is covered with a roof uh, from one end to the other, and uh, which, like I said, keeps that weather and, and stuff like that off of it. So it's really working great for me so far. Uh, for all y'all out there that don't know a lot about ramps, they, they say that your ramp needs to be, for every inch that you go up, needs to be a foot long. So if you have a 12 inch ramp, 12 inch incline, then you need to have a 12 foot ramp. So uh, that just kind of gives you an idea of, of what your ramp, uh, measurements and things like that need to be so just some quick some quick tips on that on uh on how to uh, have your ramp designed uh to benefit you but uh, uh ramps are really important because i use this ramp daily and it's it's my main access point to my house so i really when i built this ramp this time i really wanted to have it to where it would be easier for me and easier for my family uh that helped me uh keep the ramp clean and stuff like that and it's really worked good and i just wanted to share that with y'all because like i said a ramp is a big a big part of uh of being in a wheelchair and uh things like that so uh so we'll just i'll go up the ramp real quick and just show y'all uh going up and going down it how easy it is it's a like i said it's a real good ramp i made it really wide uh a lot of times i'm packing stuff uh in my lap or things like that. So I wanted the ramp to be really wide uh, so I could do things like that. And it helps too with my wife and my kids when they're packing stuff. 
uh, it makes th things a lot easier to have a nice wide ramp for you. Uh, so I'll, I'll go up the ramp and come back down and just show y'all, you know, how easy it is to, to get up and down this ramp. So we'll do that real quick. So like I said, we just ease right up it. Now we're up at the top, really smooth, uh, not hard to, uh, to do at all. Uh, it really works well, guys. Uh, this this uh, deck is uh, treated wood. Uh, that's what I would always go with. That way it'll last for you and last a good long time. Uh, I did opt on this ramp. I only have the one rail on the... Uh, on the right side. I did not put a rail on the left side. And uh, so that's just the way that I designed my ramp. And uh, just wanted to show y'all and, and hopefully help you guys out if you're if you're trying to decide on a ramp, you know, this design might not work for you, but uh, it's really worked good uh, since I've had it. Like I said, we've, we've been through a winter with it and uh, it worked great in the snow. It didn't collect uh, any snow on the ramp, which was which was really good because in the past years on my other ramps with the being on the outside, <clears throat> they still collected a lot of snow and a lot of ice. And, and when it was raining also, uh, going up and down a ramp in the rain, you still got wet. And uh, this one really keeps uh, keeps it out of the elements. So uh, that that's worked great. So now uh, that we've done that, you know, I, I hope y'all have enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll, I'll show you now some shots that uh, from different angles of it and uh, give you an idea of what my ramp looks like. So uh, thanks, guys. So here's a view of my ramp from the front side. Uh, if you're looking at it from my driveway, uh, picture of my, of my ramp and my porch, uh, how it goes down. And uh, like I said, from from the uh, from the front side of it, it looks just like a normal porch would. Uh, you can see kind of in the background there the rail uh, for my ramp. So it made a it made a pretty design. It made a uh, a good look, I think, from the from the front looking on. Uh, but that's basically how how I designed uh, had my contractor do my ramp and porch. And and guys, I'm really thrilled with it. It uh. It turned out really good, and we were really uh, getting a lot of enjoyment out of the porch uh, and the ramp uh, design like that. And then uh, there's the carport and the concrete, uh, which makes it really easy uh, when you get out of the vehicle. Uh, you stay on that concrete, and you go straight to the ramp. So uh, it makes it uh, very, very simple uh, to get from the car to the house. So just wanted to share with y'all that that uh, that footage from the front view of the porch. Hey guys, here's another shot of uh, we're actually up on the porch, and uh, just want to show you looking down the ramp how it uh, how it all works out here. Got your ramp. Going down, then you've got a little section of porch there to uh, put your flyers and a small table. And that's still wide enough for me to roll down uh, to put uh, different decorative things. And then if you spin around, sorry guys, you get the rest of our porch with our swing and then uh, the steps for the front. That's basically our porch and ramp. I just wanted to share with that with y'all guys because uh, I know it can be hard sometimes trying to uh, trying to figure out a ramp that will suit your needs and uh, to, to do uh, the things that you want to do. And this was a this was a good design uh, for what I needed it to do. And like I said, with the ramp being against the house, it really keeps that weather off of it, and uh, it does a real good job. So. Guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. I hope this these videos are helping y'all uh, with the tips and stuff and uh, allowing y'all to put some new ideas uh, in your heads and, uh, and just help y'all out. And 
we got a lot of videos coming up with uh, just everyday life, uh, transfers, things like this, uh, just things that'll hopefully help y'all out. So please, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's totally free. And until next time, it's Jacob, and we'll, we'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.